Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I probably never. What I do know, I'm Solange, this is Still 4 of Beauty, and you, you are still most welcome. Now, you will have seen from the thumbnail the title and if you bother to read any of it, let's face it, most of us don't. The description, it's a haul and a friend gift. So, if you want to find out exactly what I've been indulging in, it is time, panic not. Sammy the Sloth Straw is still around. He's just on holiday today. This is my festive coffee cup. It's nearly empty. It sucks. I need to go get some more cold coffee. Iced coffee. Cold coffee is completely different. So, grab a drink. Grab a snack. Mm. Put your feet up. Shush. <sighs> get comfy. Here it comes. Seriously. What is with my phone, folks? You all know this. You know, every time I sit down to film, my phone goes nuts. It is quiet when I am doing anything off camera. So when I was doing my foundation, for example, which I always do off camera unless it's a foundation review, not a single notification. The minute I press record, email, text message, push message, news message, phone call, someone's at your front door. Hello folks. Should see it's in the box. Oh dear. Um, hopefully this look is already live. If not, it will be imminently. Um, let's start. Now I'm going to start off. I've massacred this because I took my address off. <laughs> His address off. I'm not the person that doxes people. Thank you. You will have heard me talk about my friend Will. Will Venus uh, is his newest channel, which is like a, um, it, it's a community channel, it's somewhere to go for a chat, to not just chat with Will, but also to chat amongst yourselves in the comments. Um, we met, met each other in Hedda's Haven. Um, head has not been very well recently. Still in my prayers, my darling, as always. You have been from day one and you're still staying in them. Um, so she hasn't been doing YouTube because obviously her health comes first. You know, it, it's one of the reasons this year that, that I've been very sporadic with posting because my pain levels this year have been ridiculously high. Um, I've been dealing with a lot of new health bits and pieces coming up and rather than try and push through it like I did in previous years to make sure you absolutely got three films every week um, after a couple of years of doing that and not really seeing YouTube helping much in terms of algorithms and you know oh, what we need is consistency. So I was consistently uploading a film every Tuesday, every Thursday and every Saturday at either 6 o'clock, 10 a.m. or midday, depending on whether it was one that I was doing, whether it was a UK collab or whether it was an overseas collab, depending on where they were in the world. Um, and I, I saw, I, the first year I got quite a bit of growth. Second year, I got a reasonable amount of growth. The third year, I barely got anything. And this year, 
Well, admittedly, I've not been posting as regularly this year, but even so, everyone is saying how screwed up YouTube is at the moment because no matter how hard you try, no matter how consistent you are with your posting, no matter how much you follow all the tips and the tricks and the, the how-tos and all the things you should be doing and all the things that will help you grow, it's just not happening. Um, so I decided this year, rather than keep forcing myself to go through the pain like I have done before, I'm listening to my body and if I'm in too much pain I'm just sadly not filming, which is why you've not seen as much from me this year. Um, hopefully once I can get my legs sorted, I'll talk more about that in the film where I do this, so I'm not going to go through it all again in this one. Um, once I get my legs sorted, hopefully, because th that's been a really big impact the last 18 months on my pain levels and ability to physically sit here and film. So. But my friend Will started this uh, channel because Hedda, being unwell, has been unable to do her channel and he wanted to have somewhere for all of us to go. Unfortunately, he's doing it at a time when the YouTube algorithm is not helping anybody grow. Um, he does have a second channel, Aphrodite Postiche, which is his wig making channel. He is a very, very skilled wig maker. He makes wigs and hair pieces, all handmade, usually double knotted um, for durability and he's changed people's lives people that have you know got got alopecia for whatever medical reason um and he's he's literally changing lives with the wigs that he makes and he was saying to me a while ago that he was interested in dabbling in makeup um you know he's an artistic person with all the wig making and everything and he wanted to see whether makeup could be another outlet for him for his creative talents to keep him occupied um, it just so happened I was doing a declutter around about that time so I said well if you don't mind I will if you want to give me your address I will send you some of the lightly used palettes because where I've got so many palettes even now I've still got mm, probably 200 or more it's terrible to admit I know but it's my hobby it's what I like doing um, and I do use them oh if I don't use them I declutter them um, so I sent him a lot of palettes up and he has been absolutely loving it um, and he wanted to get me a thank you. Here's my thank you. So the first item in here, so excited by this. This is the Sigma IV palette. This is one of their newest palettes, one of the nine pan range that they've come out with. Just look at that colour scheme. Is that not me all over? So I'm hoping, now I've got this and another palette in here I'm going to talk about in a minute. And the Natasha Denona mini gold palette. I'm hoping that having these will stop me from craving the gold palette. Um, I've loved the Natasha Denona Gold palette since it first released but there was no way I was paying that price for an eyeshadow palette uh, so, but this this is almost like a cut down version of it it's all the best shades out of it in a nice compact nine pan palette and you know I wanted to try Sigma's formula so he picked this one up for me so excited to try that also in here, 
I have got three little baguettes of different uh, like sequiny glitters. So rose or rose. If I hold them against my top, they might show up, but yeah, probably not. Precious and stargazer, which is like a purple one, go really well with this eye look actually. And these two, they're popping glow shades. There's this gorgeous sort of chartreuse glittery green and this amazing pigment. This looks like a duochrome. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. So I'm super, super excited to try those in a look. I think those two together would make an amazing, amazing look. So I'm going to be playing with those. Very lovely letter, which I will not be reading out because that is personal from Will to me. Sorry. Now, the last two items in here may make you a tad confused. They're both the same. They are two bars of Kame soap, which looks like this. It smells exactly how it used to when I was a kid. We were talking about soap brows, Will and I, because I use and I recommended to him the Pink Honey range because they do work really well. And unlike just traditional soap, if it rains, they don't tend to melt too quickly. But I said initially, until you know whether or not you actually want to be into makeup, there's no point buying soap brow stuff when a bar of soap and a spoolie would do exactly the same job. Then we got round to talking about soaps, because I said, did I recommend a specific soap? And I said, well, not really. I said, I used to use Imperial, well, Grandad used to use Imperial leather as a kid when I was growing up. And I used to have Pears soap. Mum used to use whichever one she got her hands on first, she didn't care. Grandad liked the Imperial Leather scent and the pears was because my skin, the skin on my body has always been extremely, extremely dry. When I was a baby they had to put mittens on me in the hospital when I was first born because my, my hands and feet were flaking so much. They were worried that if I put my hand in my mouth I could end up choking on some of the dry skin. So that is how dry my skin is which is ridiculous because I've got oily combo face and greasy scalp yeah I don't make any sense my body makes no sense at all but then neither do I half the time anyhow so we were discussing that and I said um got to reminiscing I said I said, it's weird how different smells take you back because we'd used liquid soap for ages here just for ease as much as anything else and a little bit of laziness because you haven't got to keep cleaning a soap dish out I'm honest what can I say and uh, beginning of lockdown trying to get hold of hand soap liquid hand soap was let's just say that and toilet rolls and pasta No. So mum, uh, Chris remembered what I'd said and picked up Pears Bar Soap. And since then we haven't gone back, we've continued to use Pears. And I just love the smell of it. And it does kind of remind me of, of mum, because she either used to smell of Pears or Imperial Leather, you know? And it reminds me of when I was a kid, when things were, when things were good before they went tits up. When I was 13 but that that's a whole different life story but I was saying that it, it's weird because pears and imperial leather remind me of home but Auntie Barbara's 
always smelt like camay and the camay then back in the 80s had a deeper pink packaging with a white cameo on the front you know the cameo brooch is where it's the lady's head in profile it had that in white on the front of the packet and on the bar itself it had a cameo and I said, I said, I haven't seen Camay soap for years. And I don't even know if they still do it. So bless him. He went online. And he found Camay France. Romantique. Uh, the, the text on it looks... Eastern European looks kind of maybe Polish or Greek or something but he found two bars of this and he put them in here because he wanted me to have a a little memory from the past so I'm gonna use one and I'm gonna keep the other one and the other, one of them is gonna go into that display cabinet over there but I just that is just it is so sweet when you have a, a conversation with someone and you make a throwaway comment about the scent of different soaps and they go to all the effort of finding those soaps for you just to bring back a childhood memory that's just but that shows you the kind of man that Will is. He is so thoughtful. Um, I will try and remember to link his channel in my description box. Both of his channels. So that you can go across and check him out. Right. Will, darling, thank you so much. You know I appreciate you. And I appreciate your friendship. And these gifts are just the icing on the cake. Right. Yeah, now it's... Insomnia has been real this year, folks. Uh, but the pain part of pain insomnia has meant that a lot of the um, stuff that I bought this year I haven't even tried yet because I want to try it on camera first. And I haven't been physically able to sit for long enough to film. So the items in here, some are new new as in i purchased them from the company or directly brand new never been touched some of them are from depop where i have to admit i've picked up some major bargains over the years so starting off with lethal cosmetics collaboration Teresa is dead Lethal is Dead palette that she did looks like this gorgeous grungy greens and purples and just gorgeousness that I picked up from Depop the person had used it once and decided that the colours weren't there they didn't like the colours on them basically and I picked this up for a very good price. Thank you Depop. Thank you Depop seller. Thank you Posty for not breaking it. That's always the worry when things come in and they say they're using like Hermes or Yodel and you're like oh please don't be broken. Even the, even the normal post, it can arrive smashed sometimes. Right, this next palette I've wanted for ages. It's not new. I think it's been out about a year now. Um, but I was watching somebody's... I can't even remember who it was. It's one of those ones where... When I'm what... I set my phone to autoplay and I just... I choose a makeup film that I want to watch and they just cycle through. And I was watching someone use this palette and I'm like, oh yeah, I've forgotten how much I wanted that palette. And they had a discount code with them. 
So I went online and it happened to be a weekend that, uh, I think it was Veterans Weekend, as in Remembrance Weekend. No, it must have been earlier than that. It must have been Halloween. Yeah, it must have been Halloween. Um, and they got reduced prices on the site and I thought I wonder if the discount code will work with it and it did so I got this for a major 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 majorly good price this is from a company called ZC Z -E -E -S -E -A, that they've done in collaboration with the British Museum look at that little bit of plastic look at that isn't that gorgeous I know I know I know if you cover that bottom one, it's a very neutral palette. But then you put that other bottom row in, and that, and that's a duochrome for a start. We're ignoring the pressed glitter over there. We're pretending it doesn't exist. Uh, that looks like it could be a duochrome. Loving those two colours. Um, but yeah, it's it's one that I've wanted for a long time, and I have started to enjoy more neutral but not boring so I have this one to play with this is a, a Depop purchase I need to, sorry I just need to have a bit of a wiggle because I'm in a lot of pain, hang on a minute I'll probably cut the wiggle out right, I'm back again um, I used, or I tried, an indie brand called Wii, which is an Italian brand. It's either earlier this year or last year. And I really liked their formula. And then someone on Depop was selling a palette that they had made from Wii. Which, to be honest, is <laughs> it's pretty much a sort of palette. I, let me see if I can fold that back so I love the fact it says, you are beautiful with a heart on the mirror. But isn't that exactly the kind of palette you could see me creating, colour-wise? Loving this chartreuse green and this deep teal and that gorgeous burgundy and... Ooh, silver. Ooh. So, um, yeah. Another Depop bargain to play with. Cannot wait. Uh, Urban Decay Petite Heat. I didn't want the full size one because, as everyone was saying that had got it, pretty much all of the looks you make are exactly the same. And someone was selling this on Depop, dirt cheap, because they'd broken this first shade, which is the only shimmer in the palette. But I don't wear warm neutrals that often but I have liked the look of the Naked Heat but I didn't want to buy the full size one because every look you make is pretty much the same so I just picked up the little mini one instead because why not? Uh, picked up a Unique, E-U-N-I-Q-U-E -E palette. This is one of their Tokyo palettes. And this is volume three. She looks like that, isn't she? Stunning. I've actually got another one of their palettes on the way. Um, I've got one of their winter palettes that they've done. Um, their sort of Christmas winter release. So I've got one of those, I've got the notification this morning that it had chipped, so yay! I'm almost embarrassed to admit that I own this, but this is a Kylie Cosmetics Court Quad that she did with her sister Courtney. And it's the Christmas one. And I really like it. I liked that colour story right from the first time I saw it. And yes, I've got Gimme Glow's Christmas Morning palette, 
much bigger version and probably better quality than this to be honest but this is an ideal size for me to pop into my overnight bag for going to see mother-in-law Christmas Day perfect Christmas look small palette Depop bargain another small palette I picked up from Depop same thing as we knew the Colourpop Brock palette which is a cool toned sort of taupey grey I'll try to show you it without the, there we go I think that's probably the best shot I'm going to get in terms of the reflective packaging give that a try now one of the other palettes I've got in here you're going to go why did you buy both of them because they're different enough and to be honest I picked this one up first and the other one came along at a really really sensible price and I'm like oh, I'm gonna have to I'll kick myself if I don't and that is this Natasha Denona glam palette because I've got her love palette in this size And this is my glam palette because the neutral palette, my favourite neutral palette that I've got at the moment is the Brew palette by September Rose. That's very warm toned. I've got a neutral to cool undertone skin. Cool tones look a lot better on me. And I, I fell in love with this when I first saw it. That's why I picked up the Baroque palette because I thought mm, maybe it will stop me lusting after this one but then I saw this at a sensible price and thought I'm going to have it anyway and it will actually be quite useful because it means I can compare the two palettes together um, and if you are lusting after this one if the Baroque palette is a suitable alternative you, you can save money something I'm incapable of doing apparently this arrived this morning it had been out of stock for ages and I got a notification on Saturday night it had come back into stock this is the Natasha Denona Christmas um, palette or one of the Christmas palettes this is the mini Metropolis palette and a little mini travel sized brush um, and I'll say this combined with that Sigma Ivy palette and the Natasha Denona mini gold palette I'm hoping will stop me don't you just love that snap will stop me from lusting after the gold because the cheapest I have seen the gold palette is still like 80 quid and I'm like no, I cannot justify 80 quid on a neutral palette with a couple of greens in it. I just can't. And then Beauty Bay had a 30% off sale. So I picked up another Sigma, even though I haven't tried that Sigma yet because I've wanted this one for so long. I've seen so many people rave about this palette. I really want the Cinderella one, but they haven't released that in the UK, for goodness sake. But this, the Sigma Untamed, first off, it's got velvet on the front of it. The stripes are velvet. I'm one of those weird people that like the fuzzy ABH packaging as well. Maybe it's the Asperger's in me. I just like stroking it. I should really stop now, shouldn't I? Yeah. Right. Uh, if you've never seen it before, look at that. The plastic's even uh, stripy. Put it in front of something light, and they might be able to see. There you go. Hold the brush. That doesn't fall out. Look, isn't that gorgeous? 
So yeah, I have wanted this one for a long, 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 long time. Pretty much as soon as it came out, I was like, oh, that looks gorgeous. Loving this mustardy yellow here with these greens and this sort of... What would you call that colour even? It's not a, a mauve, but it's not a pink either. It's kind of... Well, I don't know what you call it, but I like it. They've called it Rebel. Well, that's appropriate. Oh, has that been a bit of a Rebel? I love the names of some of these. Docile. No. Feral. <laughs> Loyal. Oh, yes. Fierce. Well, that's me. Wicked. Can be. But, well, that is the last one of my latest haul. Oh. So, once again, much love to Will for my gorgeous gifts. Thank you so much, darling. Um, as ever, peeps, please let me know which palettes you want to see me use first. As a reminder, Sigma Untamed, Natasha Glam, Wee, The Egyptian Cat, Lethal is Dead, Ivy, Mini Metropolis, Baroque, Court, Tokyo 3, Petite Heat. Let me know. I'm telling you right now, the first one I'm going to play with is Sigma Ivy because it was a gift and I want to play with it. So that Will can see the looks that I have done with his gift. So I will absolutely be doing that one first. But of the other... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 palettes. Of the other 10 palettes, which one or ones would you like to see me use first? Let me know in the comments box. I'd most appreciate it. Right, my lovely ones, if you are one of the 4F family, please, please, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing people, but they're doing it in a way that they are leaving the films in your news feed. So it's not obvious that you've been deleted, which is really not very helpful for people like myself trying to grow our channels. Hmm. Uh, while you're there, double check your notification status as well. Mine keeps getting knocked back to personalise, which means I don't get any notifications at all. So just double check that at the same time, if you had them set in the first place, obviously. Uh, if, however, you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, this is a pretty good indication of the kind of nuttiness you'll find on this channel. And yes, usually one side of my top will fall off of this shoulder. A number of us came to the conclusion a while ago, perhaps it's because one boob is bigger than the other, but... I need more coffee to continue that discussion. But if you would like to uh, continue watching the nuttiness that is this channel, it's super easy to do. You hit that red subscribe button, then you ring my bell, ring my bell, and choose all notifications in the hope that someone at YouTube pulls their bleeding finger out and sends you them. In the meantime, if you're looking for some me, time to see what I did there. Did you like that? Yes? No? Shall I move on? Okay. 
as well as the rather ample backside upon which I am currently perched, uh, I have a rather ample back catalogue of films that you can indulge in. Uh, as I said, hopefully this I look is live by now. If it is, I will try and remember to link it in the description box below. And why does my nose always start itching right in the middle of a film? I, or you'll notice that I always end up with a bare patch just there on my nose because I think it's a nervous habit. Started during hay fever, and just I think it's now a nervous habit that I just mm, wiggle the end of my nose. It's worse, I could be wheeling all kinds of things. Anyhow, um, as I was saying, other films you can watch. <laughs> this is what, what I mean about my brain goes for a walk without me at times and sometimes doesn't come back for a while. There's an awful lot of different films you can choose from. I've got uh, other hauls like this. Uh, I've got tutorials, product reviews challenges, collabs, tag films. I even read you my favourite poem in one of them so hopefully there should be something there to to interest you and, and make you want to continue watching. Uh, once you have found a suitable playlist, grab a drink, grab a snack, settle down, queue up your playlist, with your coffee and your crumpets or your cup of tea and your toasted tea cake or whatever your particular ambrosia and nectar would be and just enjoy watching me blether on usually applying coloured pigments to various parts of my face in the meantime my darlings that's quite enough from me I need to go and top up my coffee because I think my brain has just about had it for one day and I know my back definitely has. So all that remains for me to say as ever is you'll stay fabulous and I will I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.